Welcome back, Tool fans. Tonight, we've got new tool announcements from Ryobi, Milwaukee, and more. We've got some big tools for tools show and tell, several head-to-heads, the most powerful leaf blower we've ever seen, and more dad jokes than anyone asked for. Those stories and more coming up next on The Tool Show. Welcome back, Tool fans. I'm Sarah, that's Rob, and we have a lot of tool content to cover, starting with some new tools from Milwaukee and Ryobi. Wait, 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 wait. This weekend, it's Father's Day. Oh yeah, it is. So I figure that maybe we should do a couple like dad jokes for our favorite dads. Oh, please no. Do you want to hear a construction joke? No, no I do not. Doesn't matter, I'm still working on it. Starting off with big power tool news from Big Green, this week they announced two new high performance batteries in huge eight and 12 amp hour sizes. That is a Ryobi lunchbox if I have ever seen one. Both are hiding 21700 cells managed by Ryobi's Telecell technology and they're perfect for powering the HP line of OnePlus tools. But with batteries so big, you're gonna wait a week for them to charge. So to fix that, they also announced a new 8 amp rapid charger, which they say can charge the 12 amp hour in 90 minutes and the 8 amp hour in less than an hour. All three are coming in late summer with the 12 amp hour clocking in at $239, the 8 amp hour only $179, and their rapid charger for $89. Ryobi also announced a new USB lithium foam cutter, which heats up in less than two minutes and cuts shapes and shaves a variety of foams. All powered by Ryobi's USB lithium battery system. It'll be available next month for only 99 bucks. On the same USB lithium platform, they also announced a new soldering pen for $69 and this adorable handheld power scrubber compatible with all of Ryobi's hex shank accessories, including soft, medium, hard abrasive bristles, brushes, sponges, scouring pads, and more. You'll be able to find one for only $59. You know, there's no way I would use that on my floor. Why not? Because it's beneath me. And Ryobi's last announcement caught our eye this week because our heavily used tow behind dump cart looks like this. That tire struggled to handle all of the dirt I dug up flying across the yard at nine miles an hour. So disappointing. But Ryobi to the rescue. This is the Anu Ryobi tow behind dump cart. It has a 7.5 cubic foot bucket with 500 pound weight capacity. It has a 180 degree pivoting feature making it easy to precisely dump to the left, right, or rear of your parked mower. It's wearing a pair of 16 inch all-terrain tires so you can pull this thing anywhere. And a steep 53 degree dump angle so you can quickly empty it when you arrive. The cart is available now at Home Depot for only $279. Next up. Uh, Milwaukee launched a new M18 product that is really special to Sarah and I. That's the all-new Milwaukee M18 70,000 BTU Forced Air Propane Heater. This compact little guy is only 18 and a half inches high and 21 inches long, weighing in at a scant 14.5 pounds. It's rated at 30 to 70,000 BTU, controlled by a variable temperature dial and a forced air fan to help spread around the heat. It has a convenient onboard storage for the hose and regulator. This thing is going to be perfect for thawing pipes. How do you know that, Rob? And why is this specific tool so special to you and Sarah? And how exactly did this thing almost lead to the end of the tool show? <laughs> you almost had me talking, but that's not a public story, but the kind we only share with our production crew during our private live shows on Monday. He told the whole story this Monday. Yes, I did. So if you want to hear that story and others like it, and help support our channel and contribute to our weekly content, consider joining our production crew channel program. After you subscribe to our channel, there'll be a new button that says join and it will explain all the rest. But I digress. The all new Milwaukee M18 70,000 BTU forced air propane heater will be available in July for $229. Speaking of heaters, do you know why space is so called? Please stop. It's because we keep all the space heaters right here on Earth. Klein announced a new backpack this week that won't just be popular with their usual electrical clientele, but pretty much anyone with a huge drinking problem. Yikes. It's a joke. That is the Klein Backpack Insulated Cooler with a staggering 30 can capacity. It claims to keep items cold for up to 24 hours, which is easily enough time to get through 30 cans of whatever, assuming you have a lot of friends. Or the previously mentioned drinking problem. Exactly. It has a molded bottom that stands up to the elements, a front pocket lined with 1680D materials with four inner pockets to carry everything from cutlery to wrenches. It even comes with a stainless steel bottle opener and a bracket that holds Klein's headlamp. And and to keep you just as comfortable as you will be quenched, it has back padding and load adjustment straps. You can get the new backpack insulated cooler right now for only $198. All right, who wants to take a break for some tool show and tell? Yeah! 
This is the all new Flex two and a half inch compact bandsaw. It's perfect for cutting through conduit, rod, pipes, and strut. The huge brushless motor delivers fast, clean, burr free cuts, and the variable speed trigger provides better control while cutting. It has a quick release, tool free blade cover, and an LED light so you can see what you're cutting through. It has a rafter hook making it easy to store while working on ladders, and it hangs perfectly on the Flex stack pack rack rails between cuts. It has a no load speed of 0 to 590 SFPM and only weighs 7.1 pounds. As a matter of fact, it's 27% more compact and 43% lighter than their crazy new 5-inch model. So what'd you pick? The crazy new 5-inch model. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> this is the all-new Flex 5-inch deep cut bandsaw that's got all of the features that Rob just mentioned, but, you know, bigger. Oh, wait, calm down now. That's not fair. This is really powerful. Mm -hmm, and smaller. Oh, hey, that actually reminds me of another joke. Nope. Both saws are available now for pre-sale at Ohio Power Tool. Since Father's Day is this weekend, let's give something away. Our friends at Spider gave us a fantastic pile of pro accessories to give to one of you. That includes things like their Spider stepper bits, we've got circular saw blades, reset blades, not circular saw braids, they're blades, the sp Spider mock blue uh, drill bits, and a massive pack of spaddle bits. Now to enter, just leave a comment below telling us your favorite power tool related dad memory, and we'll be picking a winner after a few days. Hey, what do you call a spider with like 20 eyes? What? A spider. Let's move on to our favorite videos of the week, starting with Tools Tested, where John sat out to crown the best installation drill driver that money can buy. He gathered an impressive collection of drills from Hilti, Milwaukee, Bosch, Metabo, and DeWald. These installation drills each have a versatile chuck that can accommodate a whole collection of unique drill heads. He compared features, pricing, performance, size, and more. After several tests, he isn't too happy with some of the features, but for the money, he found it hard to complain. He does, however, discover that one of these drills clearly outperforms the rest. To find out which one that is, head over to Tools Tested. Now I know it's tempting to always buy the best, but sometimes you need a tool and simply don't have the cash. But don't worry, Taylor over at Tinker with Tools is testing impact drivers that can all currently be picked up in a kit for only 99 bucks. The group has a surprisingly good lineup, including impacts from DeWalt, Metabo HPT, and Makita. And while the price is right, the tool still has to be good if it's going to be used on the job site. So Taylor puts all three through a series of drilling challenges, which were all pretty boring. Boring. Oh, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> and in the end, he decides if any of these drills can get the job done while keeping cash in your pocket. For the full breakdown, head over to Tinker with Tools. What's the best way to torture test a random orbital sander? Oh, is this like a dad joke? Nope! If your answer is anything other than sanding a log cabin, you are wrong. The testing team at Miller's Construction did just that, determined to see if their new Flex Random Orbit Sander could take on the Bosch barrel grips. To test them thoroughly, he spent several hours refinishing the side of a cabin and immediately finds several differences, including power. You can audibly hear the difference in power between the Flex and the Bosch. All three of these sanders are powerful, portable, cordless solutions to a very rough problem. <laughs> nice. To see which one comes out on top, visit Miller Construction. I didn't know you knew any dad jokes. What? Girls can be punny. There it is. Speaking of dad jokes, Mark got a whole... Why is Mark a dad joke? Mark got a hold of some new tools from Cat, and the first one blows. Okay, now that one was just lazy. <laughs> that is the all-new Cat 60-volt, 800 CFM, 175 mile per hour brushless leaf blower. Weighing in at just over 11 pounds, this monster is determined to blow away the competition. Mark used it for clearing sidewalks, parking lots, heavy mulch from curbs, and even drying off his car. Now, Sarah and I have a very decent collection of overpowered leaf blowers, but honestly, we've never used a handheld model that breaks the 800 CFM barrier. We've never used a cat tool either, so it's cool to see that Mark was so impressed by the new brand. He says there was literally nothing bad to say about it. To see this handheld jet engine in action, head over to Mark Thomas Builder. Flex and Skill both launched new impact wrenches this week, and TTC has them both. The Flex and Skill are both made by Shervon, making them siblings, with the Flex focused on pro use, while the Skill aims to give pro power to the DIYer. And this time around, they both achieve their goals. It's hard to miss the Flex in this video, as it brings some pretty big numbers in a very small package, but I encourage you to watch the Skill segment as well. It's unbelievably powerful, but if you want that coupled with a really low price, you have to give up size, and they clearly did that. In the end, both 
impacts find new homes in the TTC charts, and you can see where they land on the Torque Test Channel. Now, there are many different types of clamps. Band clamps for pinching pipes, bench clamps for holding down your work, and even equestrian clamps for holding your horses. But the simplest of clamps is the humble C clamp, and you can never have enough. But how do you know which C clamp is worth your money? You asked Todd, of course. This week he gathered examples from Wilton, Wright, Stanley, Crescent, Bessie, Graz, Yost, Lincoln Electric, Performance Tool, Pony, Harden, Wen, Pittsburgh, and StopTech. So many clamps. And if you haven't seen a Project Farm video before, you might be asking yourself, Rob, do you really think I'm going to watch a video about clamps? Well, Todd uses his crazy testing rigs to snap them all in half. So yeah, I think you'll watch it. Technically, one of them does survive, and you can find out which one on Project Farm. It's summertime, which means we'll all be putting down our winter snacks and headed out into nature to eat different snacks. And this degree will be launched a new cooler that will keep those snacks cool without a single piece of ice. Clint showed off the new Ryobi hybrid cooler that has a temperature range from negative 4 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. You can keep all of your drinks cold while camping for up to 23 hours using the two battery ports. But if your goal is to just keep your drinks cold during a barbecue and you have excess to power, just plug it in using the 120 volt adapter. The thing Thing is hybrid. Let's be honest, this thing isn't a cooler, it's a portable fridge. If you are still struggling with what to buy dad for Father's Day, this thing would be perfect. You can watch the full review in the tool review zone. So it is going to be Father's Day this Sunday, and if you still need to get something for your dad, this week's Platinum Tool Deal could be just the thing. This week our code will get you $50 off $100 purchase of any in-stock DeWalt tool or accessory. If your dad doesn't like DeWalt, then just get him a tie. Now remember, this code will only work for the first 25 people, so you have to be fast. The code is TS79013. Good luck! So I found out what my kids are getting me for Father's Day already. You did? Yeah, it's a guitar. Do you not want a guitar? Well, this one seems to have strings attached. <laughs> nah, don't fret over it. Wow. <laughs> I want to thank Ego, Spider, and Black Ladder for continuing to support our show. All of that in our community of Tool fans. <laughs> All right, that's it for tonight, guys. If you can, spend some quality time with your dad this weekend, and we'll be sure to see you next week. Hey, where do surfers learn to surf? Boarding school. What's the best kind of bird to work for a construction company? A crane. Okay, that one was too easy. Or maybe it was just too stupid. It, it might have been too stupid.